Hello everyone, and welcome to today's Destiny 2 Theory Crafting video. Today we are going to discuss how to farm primary ammo in Destiny 2 as efficiently as possible. So uh, let's start off with the build. To begin, we're going to be running uh, Middle Tree Dawn Blade, that is, Dawn Blade, that is Well of Radiance. Uh, you can see that uh, this binds to our super button because this is our super, and you will see why this is important later on. Having said that, uh, since we are farming primary ammo, you can see we have here two primaries that are hand cannons. And as such, we're going to be running hand cannon ammo finder. These can be applied on the middle two slots of your helmet. They are two energy cost each. Make sure that you have them to most efficiently farm primary ammo. Uh, hand cannon reserves are not necessary. However, if your intent is to farm primary ammo, I imagine you want as much primary ammo as possible. So we're going to have the hand cannon reserves on to simulate accuracy. Phoenix Protocol fills and assists you make while standing in your Well of Radiance return super energy. Um, our super, as mentioned before, is Well of Radiance, so this synergizes very well with that. Uh, moving on, we have Hand Cannon Scavenger. Each brick that, uh, each primary brick that is dropped is going to generate additional Hand Cannon ammo. And since we are trying to farm primary ammo as efficiently as possible, these are both necessary. Now, let's take a look at the real meat of this build, which is the Sunshot. Now, first off, if we're shooting two hand cannons, then every time we accidentally walk over a brick, both hand cannons are going to pick up a brick, because both need ammo. And because of that, we need to be as efficient as possible with our hand cannon ammo usage, thus we're only going to be using Sunshot. Now, Sunshot is a very important weapon for this, because this weapon fires explosive rounds, and in addition, targets killed with Sunshot explode in solar energy. Now, why is this relevant? Well, as you can see, we are currently in the Shattered Throne Thrallway. This is actually the second Thrallway. And there will be a bunch of uh, Taken Thrall running towards us. What are they called? They're not called Taken Thrall. I forget what they're called. You know the Taken Thrall that are like Wizard Thralls. I forget what they're called. They're going to be running towards us. And we are going to be shooting them with Sunshot. Now, the, the, the Sunshot is going to one-shot the Thralls, even with the explosive rounds, not just with the ammo itself. And because of that, uh, the Thralls will explode based on Sunshot's perk, and then that will explode nearby Thralls. And since those Thralls have died from explosions from Sunshot, those will then explode, chaining explosions backwards. So let's go try this build out. Running forwards here, you can see that I'm going to be chased by Shadow Thrall, that's what they're called. But I'm not going to kill them yet, I want to see my ammo being generated, so I'm going to set up right here, popping the World of Radiance. Now that accidentally killed some Thralls, which means my Sunshot didn't, but that's no issue, we need to kill Thralls anyway. But as you can see, I'm shooting the Thralls, and it's, just, it's exploding the Thralls behind them. Look, you can see explosions chaining back the Thrall way. So I'm just going to sit here for a moment and farm some ammo. Now, that there is a heavy brick, and we don't really want heavy bricks. That's why we're running double hand cannons, so we don't get special ammo, but unfortunately there is no heavy hand cannon. But as you can see here, we're already getting a decent amount of primary ammo. Look at that, a couple bricks on the ground, so let's just keep shooting away. Now, my super does seem to have run out, but that's fine. I got a decent amount of pills while in my Well of Radiance, and as such, it is almost full already. And here we have our super again, so we can pop our super and keep shooting away. And I don't know if you saw that right there, but the beauty of this build is that while I'm reloading, once my Sunshot is out of ammo in the magazine, I am going to reload, but it will continue to explode the Thralls while I'm reloading, thus maximizing the uptime of killing Thralls and maximizing the amount of primary ammo generated. And as you can see, already I've been shooting away here for like, what, a minute, two minutes? And already we have a lot of primary ammo on the ground. Now, I am actually doing this during Solstice of Heroes, and as you can see on the left side of my screen, I am solar empowered. This means that even if I were to stop shooting and my Sunshot was stopping exploding things, the Thralls would still be taking damage and dying. And that is important as well, because it means that for some reason I'm out of ammo and there aren't Thralls exploding and they're walking up to me inside of my Well of Radiance, they are still taking damage and still dying and therefore still generating primary ammo.
But anyways, that's mostly the video. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of primary ammo on the ground, and it, you might notice that as you generate more and more primary ammo, um, some of the ammo bricks are beginning to blink. You can see uh, this one right here is already beginning to blink um, because there's just too much ammo on the ground. It is overloading something, I don't know what, but it is beginning to blink. So um, anyways, yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.